Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today is part two of my Giovanni nail products um, acrylic swatches. So I, um, like I said, took advantage of the sale that he had on his uh, acrylics. And I also got some of his monomer. This one is a coffee scented monomer. So the first swatch is this gorgeous yellow, like a sun, like a sunflower yellow. And the monomer that I'm using today is my LED monomer. Of course, you know I'm at home, so I try not to use regular monomer if I can help it. So this next one was like a soft pink color. And uh, when I was doing this swatch on this particular one, um, it was more my fault because I did not shake up the acrylics. So when you get acrylics, make sure you shake them up because sometimes they can settle. So once I um, broke it up, uh, it worked out pretty well. It was more of user error and not the product itself. So um, his acrylics go on buttery smooth. So I didn't have any problems with them. It was just I didn't shake up my jars before I started doing the swatches. So next is this like hot pink color. So next we have the glitters and this was a pretty orange color with a um, silver glitter in it. And like I said before in my previous Giovanni video, um, his acrylics works well with any monomer. This one was a pretty purple, forgot to record this watch. but. This is that. This one is um, like a gold, silver. I thought it was the same, like the one that I had before. But it, this one was more gold than brown. We ain't giving up on our dreams, everything is ahead of us. Stay true to your path, it's not where you start, it's all where you're at. It's where you end up when your back's to the mat. Do you cripple the flat or get up off your back? Deliver these facts to see them react. The stadium's packed, they y'all gonna snap. The motivated attract, the isolated attack, the frustrated hit back. Yeah, we move fast. And now we're moving on to the nudes. And I am swatching from light to dark. And none of the colors that I received in this package were the same colors from the uh, first package that I did. And uh, if you have not seen that video, I'll make sure that I put a link. What's happening? There's not enough time just to be imagining. You gotta take some action towards practicing. I know it's not easy, but you gotta get out there. Make your own meaning, can't afford to have doubts. They'll interrupt dreaming. I just wanna look out there, the crowd all screaming. I wanna change everything. I swear I'll do anything. Just to get where I wanna be. I won't stop till I'm free. I won't stop till I'm free.
feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. So now I am going ahead and showing you the swatches of each color on the paper towel. Take me for granted and so I'm going from light to dark, from glitter, from plain glitter to nude. Keeps bleeding from the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. I could tear you apart, or I could go heal them. Don't believe in fate, don't believe in feelings. I just need a taste, and my mind starts peeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. Uh. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. And I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough Cause climb. Cause I'ma live life for the fight. Yeah, I'm here to get it. I got drive, got sight. Always have a vision. I go by a night. I be in my feelings. So here are all the swatches of the polishes. So today I am going to try and work on doing smile lines using acrylic or deep French. So I am going ahead and preparing my practice hand tip and roughing up the surface. I also will be using a tip today and cutting it to a coffin shape because I do also want to continue to practice my um, shaping as well. Because I mean, I may buy uh, different shape tips but sometimes you never know when you may have to, you know, prepare a tip that is not that shape. So practicing uh, your shaping and filing is always a must. So I'm using the Protein Bond from Young Nails and also their um, brush on glue so that I can adhere my nail tip today. And for a long time, I thought you could not put nail tips on these type of practice hands, but if you prep the nail tip well, you will be able to. So I'm just showing you in a little bit sped up, but still kind of real time on how long it will take to adhere to the nail bed. So now I'm using my scissors here to um, cut the tip the way I want it so that I can do a uh, hand file it into a coffin shape. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and your notification bell. Thank you. So now I'm using my Tammy Taylor um, peel and stick file to uh, shape in the nail to that coffin shape that I wanted. Um, what I've learned about 
during this process is you have to kind of hold your file a certain way kind of at an angle so that you can get the tip to um, to the shape that you want it and you have to kind of maneuver it a certain way look at it as from a different angle so that your both your sides are the same um, you know shape they are symmetrical on both sides so you don't want to have the left side more filed in more than the right side and vice versa so I think for this one I think I did pretty good So I clean off the surface of the nail using a nail swipe. And this is the nude that I will be using for my deep French. So first I would um, use a small bead to make the smile line area or the base area to the deep French and once I get that into the shape that I want it you know how deep I want it or you know how far in I may want it I'll use the base of my the body of the brush to you know make maneuver the acrylic around and that's another reason why I like this kind of monomer because it will give me time to make the necessary uh, adjustments before I put it under the light to cure. Now we cure that under the lamp for about 30 seconds. So now I'm going in with the bigger bead and this is to help build up the, bo the body of this area of the nail. And also um, give it a little bit more height so that once I uh, cure it fully I can file it and you'll see that in my next step and sometimes less is more that's why I didn't want to file it too much uh, you will always see me tap the acrylic because that lets me know that the acrylic is ready and it's ready to be filed if it gives like a clicking noise it's ready if it's more of a, a dull noise then it's not ready so I did try to stay in frame so you can see me like filing around the area so that that smile line area would be nice and sharp I went ahead and cleaned that off with Young Nail Swipe. So now the color I wanted to use with that pretty orange acrylic as the tip area. And I would use the body of the brush to walk the acrylic up into those corners there. And then finish applying acrylic down towards the tip of the nail and get that all built up so and with this I would not build um build up out this will be a thin layer of acrylic because then I will encapsulate the glitter in clear. And I will hold the nail downward so that gravity can kind of do the work for me and help the acrylic go down towards the tip so that I can shape it. So 
So now I am going in with the clear and encapsulating that orange glitter and building up that body so that it will align well with the nude area of the nail. So after I fully cure the nail tip, I went ahead and um, filed the nail and sharpened up the shape and everything. And um, now that I'm looking at the nail, I, there are things that I would have done differently because I do see like there on the left side that the acrylic was kind of bulky on that side. so. I know next time to definitely pay attention to things of that nature so that that would help me um, uh, uh, lay my application acrylic application down better. So now I'm buffing the surface of the nail and if I need to go in with my file for e e any reason, I will go ahead and do that as well. And once I'm satisfied with how the nail turned out, then I will go ahead and um, finish buffing. So now I'm cleaning off the surface of the nail and I wanted to add a few little gems to it. But I will be going in with this top coat, curing it for 90 seconds. I'm using the uh, Savi Lund 4-in-1 gel as my gem um, glue. And just kind of going with the theme of the color scheme of the nail, which is orange. And I'm going in with some, um, some different crystals just to give it a little pizzazz. So tell me what you guys think of this set and if you had any other suggestions when it comes to uh, laying down acrylic. And I look forward to seeing you guys' comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!